Kenya will for the uh, time count intersex uh, uh, persons during the upcoming national population census. For the first time, the census questionnaire will have three markers, male, female and intersex. This follows a successful petition to the Kenyan government by intersex persons who are fighting for legal recognition. Intersex persons are individuals born with sex characteristics that do not fit the typical de definitions of either male or female bodies. Sarah Kimani has this report. When I was born, as usual, my parents could not tell. I was born at home. And the first thing they did, they took me to a traditional medicine man. And the medicine man had not seen such kind of a thing again. And he said, okay, take your child home. And the easiest option is killing your child. It is a story that is repeated in several homes in Kenya. A story that James Karanja, whose legal documents still identify him as a female, hopes will change when enumerators count him as well as other intersex persons in Kenya. Why I feel there is a need for us to uh, be counted in this census is one, that we must at all costs try uh, to stop infanticide. Globally, up to 17% of children are born intersex, but most countries do not have the actual numbers of intersex persons. Intersex persons are in most cases ostracized. This weekend's national population census will for the first time recognize intersex persons. We'll be able to identify how many, we'll be able to collect the numbers of the population that are intersex and based on the analysis that will be carried out, we'll be able to have the other characteristics, their education levels, their labor force, where do they work, where do they live. When we have this golden opportunity to have them counted so that we can actually count them in the policies of this country. The census is, however, just one step. Lawmakers in the country are now working on a raft of new laws that will include intersex persons and also education to fight stigma against intersex persons. Recognition of intersex people socially is even a bigger challenge because we are talking about stigma, we are talking about misinformation, we are talking about ignorance that then excludes uh, intersex people. That even when you have been recognized legally, people will still continue stigmatizing intersex people so nobody will come up forward even when you are legally recognized. This is about the rights of individuals who are also Kenyans like any other. Kenya's current population is estimated at 47 million. The last census was conducted in 2009. For James and indeed all other intersex persons, when the final figure is collected, they too will have been counted. Sarah Kemani, SBC News, Kenya.